When I'm movement directing a production, I'll devise a warm-up that's specific for the needs of that show and that group of actors. It will start to build the movement vocabulary that's needed, whether it's for choreography or for the style and period of that piece. In this warm-up, we're going to work more generally, so I'll include an aerobic and stretching section and a series of mobilisation exercises that also connect to the breath. All of these things can be done before auditions, rehearsals or performances to prepare the actor's body for work. We're going to start off with an aerobic section to get the heart rate up, the blood flowing and get the body warm and pumping. OK, so we're going to start off with hands up this out and we're doing a little bounce on the toes so we go one two three four five six seven eight then we duck one two three and four from there two punches one two two hooks one two and then a knee and a kick so the second section is skipping we have an imaginary rope and we're going to jump on the spot for 16 counts just make sure your heels go on the floor as you jump here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So for the third section, we're going to come down, stretch out the legs, bring them back in, jump up into the air. Can I just see your down position? Good, bring the feet in, and really jump and stretch up to the ceiling. Good, so that's our burpee section. So we're going to join those three sections together with a sprint in between. So you're going to pick a spot in the room, sprint to it, touch the floor, and sprint back ready for the next section. Let's see the sprint. Here we go, and... Good, and you're back there. Okay, so let's run all of the sections with the sprint from the top. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and... exercises work through different parts of the body, mobilising and stretching. The actor's focus can be on the breath, how it's affected by movement and how it can be focused and connected. For the first mobilisation exercise, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, relax your knees and begin to bounce. Then tuck your chin in, let your shoulders go, let your hips go, let your knees bend even more towards the floor, breathe in and then as you breathe out, unroll. With your feet nice and wide, begin by breathing in. Then as you breathe out, roll down through the spine one vertebra at a time. Breathe in at the bottom, then as you exhale, slowly unroll the spine. As a variation, you can do the same exercise, but lead with the nose and arch the spine as you come up. Stretch up towards the ceiling with one arm and then the other. As you alternate arms, you should feel the stretch all the way down your side. Step forward on one leg. Bend your knees and imagine you're throwing a bowling ball. Breathe out as you imagine releasing the ball. You can do this with both arms. Standing on one leg, swing the other leg forwards. Remember to do this exercise with both legs and to swing your opposite arm. On the floor, start by swinging your legs to the right and to the left. Brush your toe across the floor as you swing. This should loosen your hips, legs and your lower back. Next, hold each leg up in the air, keeping the leg straight to stretch the hamstrings. Remember to do this exercise with both legs. Cross your right leg over the left and pull it towards you to stretch the glute and inner thigh. Do this on both legs. Sit with your feet together, your knees apart and your back straight. You can use your elbows to open your legs more. Lean forward slightly, keeping your back straight to stretch the inner thigh. 
Finally, with your back and legs straight, step one foot after the other. You should aim for your heels to be towards the ground and feel the stretch in the calves. Now the actor's body should be warm and physically ready for the challenges of their work. 